trying no, to no. touch your face. Dogs. Trace. Hey MGM fam, welcome to the today's vlog. video. Wow. <laughs> Wait, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Apparently she has the giggles. Is this a funny video? Oh Gabriel, what are we gonna talk about in today's video? Today. Cut. Cut. Okay, Cut. and we're back. Okay, Brielle, what are we gonna talk about in today's video? <laughs> what is going on? Take three. What are we gonna talk about in today's video? We're going to talk about like my recovery of my knee. Just a little backstory. Almost six weeks ago, Brielle was at dance and she called me from dance and she was crying. Okay, and this is gonna make me sound like a mean mom. She said, I hurt my knee, something's wrong or whatever. And I just was like, oh, you're fine. Just take some ibuprofen, put some ice on it and go back to class. I go to get her from class like four hours later and she wasn't able to dance at all, and her knee was really swollen. It was like, but just, it was really swollen. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, her knee is hurt. <laughs> now you have the hiccups. I know, that's why I was laughing. We took her to the doctor the next day. We found out that she dislocated her kneecap. So my kneecap came clear over here, and then popped back. Luckily, it popped itself back into place, but just that motion of coming out of place and then going back into place, it really affected all of the ligaments and muscle, muscles, not the right word, muscles around her knee. So she had to take four to six weeks off of dance. Last week, she did go, get to go back to dance and start light dancing or marking that they say, and she's gonna mark again this week, and then next week, she'll be able to start dancing again. <laughs> These darn hiccups! Okay, keep going! I can. Keep going! Last week she was able to get this really awesome brace. Why don't you show them the brace? Okay. So the brand of this brace is Don Joy. Don Joy. The type of brace that she has is called a patella stabilizing brace. Yes. So there's different types of braces for different types of injuries where she needs support around her patella. That's why hers is a patella straight stabilizing brace. We yes. went with this brand, Dawn Joy, because it was the one that we could find the smallest. Because she has a small little leg, so it was hard to find a brace that fit her. And this was the one that came in the smallest size. So it can support my kneecap from moving around. Um, usually it dislocates to the right. Once I put my brace on, my kneecap fits like right in this little hole right here. And then this little sticky part, it sticks to the side of my knee, so if it ever wants to dislocate, it can't because it, it kind of pushes it. In it place. pushes it back in. Yeah, it's blocking it from getting out. So. so this part is pushes against the side of the knee, and then these little bands they wrap around on each side. This brace has been very helpful if you're recovering from a, knee, from a kneecap injury. This is a really great one. We just got this on Amazon. She's also been doing a lot, a lot of physical therapy, right? Yeah. She's been going to physical therapy about twice a week. You do ladders. Yeah, I do ladders. I do the BOSU ball. Yeah. I do a lot been... of weighted stuff. Um, I do leg lifts with weights on my ankles. She's really trying to strengthen her quad muscle while the ligaments around her knee have been tightening. So she's been doing that, which has been good. Recently, <laughs> she had a brand new experience. She did not like it, okay? Tell them what we just did last week. Oh gosh, I hated it. <laughs> Told you she didn't oh, like it. Okay, I got cupped. Cupping. One of the problems with her little body is that her muscles are very, very tight. She's growing, plus she's exercising, so her muscles are getting in a lot of knots. Yes. And when that happens, the muscles can't stretch right yeah. there. 
so it has to stretch in other areas. The parts around her knee are being forced to stretch more than they should because her hamstring is so tight. So she did a deep tissue massage last yes, week. I did. And one of the things that she did after the deep tissue massage was the cupping. Cupping. What is cupping? Okay, so cupping, well the way he told, the my physical therapist told me it would be is like a little suction cup. But it is not like that. Well, so it is. It's it just is, like times just, 10. Yeah, it's just like times 10. They have these little glass bottles, and then they stick them onto your leg, and then they, they take have this out. Machine. Yeah, they have this machine where they take out um, some of the air in that bottle. It makes the air pressure very negative pressure. Negative, ne yeah, negative pressure. So it's just suction cupping to your leg, but it also kind of hurts because when you look at it, your skin is like halfway up the bottle. So it's, that doesn't look or feel very well. Yes. So, so it's kind of another type of deep tissue massage, like if you have really bad knots. I don't know if you guys ever watched the Olympics when Michael Phelps was in the Olympics swimming and he had like all of these little perfectly circled dots on his back is because he had done cupping procedures. It's definitely a thing to do, but it is different, right? Yeah. It's different. Uh -huh. She got them all over the tops of her legs. Whoosh. Okay, they're off now. What the? Look at. Ew. Look it's at this so one over here. Gross. Oh my gosh. Ew. Does it feel better once they're off? Yes, it does. You're probably gonna have some bruises. What do you think? Yeah, this hurts. Did you like that experience? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she got a massage on her legs today and then got did this cupping to help. And it was not her favorite thing. Nope, it wasn't. All right, you ready to go home? Yes. Okay, let's go. Ugh. So she didn't like it when she was doing it, but how did you feel when it was done? It still kind of hurt after, because my skin was like trying to like go down to what it usually is, um, but it was like trying to go back to normal. So that was like really weird. One of the other things that she's been doing a lot to help with her swelling is icing her knees. This ice pack her friend gave her, this actually can be warm or cold, but we've mostly only been using it cold. It has like Orbeez in it basically. It's really so it's really like candy. moldable and yeah. obviously reusable. It has like a really soft material on this other side. This is the other ice pack that we've been using. This is actually for their lunch boxes, but we really like it because it has this little material sleeve around it so it's not cold right on your knee. But it's just Planet Box, we have a bunch of these and these work really well, they're really, they have a lot of movement in them so they can fold over her knee where they need to. Does it feel better when you ice it? Um, yeah, I mean sometimes I don't really feel a difference, but like the, my mobility of moving after is a lot better after I ice it, so. Well, that's good. She is healing um, from this Patellar dislocation is actually what it's called, but we just say kneecap dislocation. She should be able to start dancing soon. We're gonna have to watch her really closely mm -hmm. and make sure that she's stay keeping track of it, staying healthy. Staying on top of her physical therapy is going to be hard because she is not good at it. She's not good at it. She's not good at it. She has to do the physical therapy at home to be able to continue strengthening and healing. Now that she's healed, we also have to work on preventing an injury. Yes. Um, so, that is kind of where we're at in this whole process. Tell us about how Missing Dance has been. Oh gosh, okay. Missing Dance has been really hard for me because dance has been something that I've been doing all, like my whole life. Now I'm at home bored and I would way rather be able to go to dance and see all my friends and do what I love to do. But I'm also kind of glad that I got this break because before I was getting kind of sick, of dance every single day. So now that I get this break, I understand how much dance is to me. She's been a good sport. She's gone and watched her team's competitions and this last weekend actually she went down and watched her friends compete. But that's hard too, watching the competitions and wishing you were out there dancing and not being able to. Mm -hmm. So I know that's also been hard for her. She's ready to just get back at it and start dancing again and we're excited to see her new solo this year hopefully yeah. soon. Mm -hmm. So, 
All right, you guys, hopefully that filled you in on everything that's been going on with her injury. She is improving. She will be able to continue dancing. She just needs to continue with her physical therapy so she can stay strong. But anyway, anything else you want? <laughs> That's why I don't do it. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Be sure to like and subscribe. You can head over to the community tab and give us any questions that you would like to have Brielle answer. Otherwise, this girlie's gonna go to dance now, right? Yes, I am. All right, you guys, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.